<laughs> Melina is trying to use the microphone, but it's this whole thing of pushing the button and holding it for us to hear it. We just hear. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm assuming we're live. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives <laughs> Live. This is number 71. Did you, you did um, you notice that it just goes in here? If you don't hold it long enough, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's it. Fancy technology, two-way radio. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Push the button and talk. We're just gonna some walkie-talkies next week. Release the button so I can hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> Have you ever played around with two kids playing with walkie-talkies for the first time? Yes. You want to kill them. You want to just smash one of the walkie-talkies. <laughs> Man, my own voice. She's having technical frightened. difficulties. Yo, it, I, I, I took them away from the nephews one time. I bought them for them, uh, I, and they could not grasp the concept. Now, granted, they were very young. Yes. It but is. I took them away and said, nope, you're not ready for these. And they were like, I got all teary-eyed. And I said, no, no, you don't get these. Not right now. So when I was a little kid, we had this. Uh, my parents bought us for Christmas one year, speaking of Christmas and all that sure. stuff. It was, it was this NASA set of those things. But it, it actually involved control room phones and whatever. And they had sure. cords that ran for those. They had NASA headsets that were the two-way radios and uh -huh. that stuff. And what we discovered on the trip from Knoxville to Bristol was that if you tune the radio station to the right thing, and it happened by accident, you could talk through the walkie-talkie thing to the car ahead. Yes. <laughs> we had our own little self-invented CBs going on. What's amazing is you know, somebody was on that same station running down the road, and all of a sudden there was some kid talking on it. They were like... Stinging. said, Eagle Houston, we are go for landing. Right. <laughs> Guys, we're looking around. Ha! <laughs> ah! This is a show about knives. We talk about them occasionally. Sometimes NASA phones and other things but, like Yeah, that. but that usually happens after the movie talk and the toy talk at the beginning of the show. <laughs> they, they are, these people know that. They understand how our brains work. This show is brought don't. to you by Smoky Mountain <laughs> Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Uh, <coughs> wow. <coughs> Almost right. choked on my own saliva right there. <coughs> what happened to Andy? He drank his own spit and died. <laughs> he died. He choked and went down the wrong hole. Uh, we hope you're joining us in the middle of your day. We hope you guys take your lunch breaks and just join us and do that kind of thing. If you're on the West Coast, you're just waking up, pouring a cup of coffee, and tuning in They're to GTK. I mean, Lefty, why Lefty not? goes in the bathroom, stays in there for an hour. You're coming in and hearing us talk from a stall. <laughs> <laughs> there hope for the Bluetooth at that point. That's right. That's funny. We wasn't so there furiously <laughs> typing. No, you're wrong. That's not a driver. That's stuck. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of business to go through because we didn't do a show on Tuesday last week. So we didn't That's do true. a giveaway. We'll do the giveaway we did on Thursday. We'll announce that on Thursday this week. But I do want to point out the only things that I have. <laughs> I know, trying to keep it all managed yeah. in my brain. And because now we've added two new segments a day. Yes. Oh, you guys get to see my ugly mug on Get to the Point every day. We're going to yep. start doing that every single day. So if you want to see a brand new item or, or an old item or just an item I want to show you. Yes. You'll see a two-minute video. It's just a little bitty Get to the Point video. And you can see that on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. All those places. Actually, Twitter as well. Excuse me. This is going to be a tough show. I want eight a mint and it's killing me now. The other thing we did, we dropped it for the very first time today. Okay, it's look. Way if I thin. <laughs> Jason, Jason knows this, and uh, for three years I've written the questions that you see <laughs> every single day. For three years I've managed the questions that you answer and tried to participate in them. <laughs> They've no, been wildly no, no, they successful. Need to, they need to know the other side of this. <laughs> so, so when Andy first had this idea, and he said, "We can do a question every day. It'll be great," and we all went, "Yeah, great." He said. I'm gonna, we use a we use a, a, a back end tool to keep everything kind of organized in our. You in keep our, your back end tool to yourself. Do, in, in our lives, we use a, a tool called Basecamp, and we dig it. Um, and he said, "I'm gonna start this list in Basecamp, and people can drop in questions that I can then use." How many did you get from everybody? A little under ten, I would say. Yeah, I think and, it's more like five or six. And, uh, uh, <laughs> and I don't think I sent one at all. Um, <laughs> And I will tell you this. He's over the done the other three hundred and sixty. Yeah. How many ever? We, we've done over three hundred <laughs> in the last in the last three years, and I've recycled them quite a bit. And I just decided at the end of twenty nineteen. No, we're just we're not recycling these anymore. Sure. The question thing has run its course. So what we're gonna do? So you can't get any help from the rest of the team. There's just so many. Only so many questions you can ask That's about true. knives. Yeah. When did you poke yourself in the neck? 
<laughs> I didn't. Okay, well, that's another question. Done. <laughs> <laughs> when didn't you poke yourself in the neck? That's right. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> so we're replacing that with every day we're going to do uh, kick it or cord it. I and love it's it. It's going to be uh, kick this knife. We're just going to show you a knife from our showroom. I literally go out to the showroom. I take a picture of a knife at a counter. I tell you what it is, give you a link to it, and then you tell me whether you would kick it to the curb or stick it in your cart. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Ignore the idea of whether you have the money right then to purchase it or not. Yeah, ignore that part. Ignore that part. Just do you like it enough that you'd want to buy it. Yeah. And the thing about it, too, is I'm not going to invite knife shaming to it, so just kind of leave that part out of it. But if you like it, tell us why you like it. Um, If you wouldn't add it to your cart, tell us that, too. I think sometimes manufacturers need to hear information like that. You know, not even just the manufacturers. I think other people like to hear that as well. Agreed. There's something about, it's the same reason you read reviews. Right. Um, and we have, we've gotten some really in-depth, good reviews right. from people on the site who go in and, I mean, some that we get are like yeah. small books. They're novellas. Yes. Where somebody's going, you know, here's why I love this product. Right. <laughs> um, and then some you get that are just like, here's why I, this did not work for me. Sure. And I think that's very helpful. It's like it's like if you go fall down the rabbit hole of reading the reviews of the Haribo, Haribo, whatever they are. Oh yeah, the, the little the gummies, sugar-free the sugar-free gummies, gummies yeah. on Amazon. Yeah. If you have time, I recommend it. It's extremely funny, and you find out why if you <coughs> have a constipation issue, they might be just the right thing to help. Yep. <laughs> that is what we're going to do, not the constipation. Thing. No, that's what yes. we're going to do every day, and we'll do that until I'm ready to pull what little hair I have left out of my head. So 2021, there'll be something new. Yeah, probably. That probably is going to be it. But that's what we're going to do. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, of course, again, we will guard against the knife shaming and that kind of stuff. Of so don't course. Do it. Yeah. You want to come on and tell me it's Chinese junk? Just say it under your breath in your own yeah. mind. Leave it off the page. If you have a legitimate reason that you don't like it. Write it. State it. Yes. You know, I don't like thumb studs. I'm bad with thumb studs. Yes. I lost my thumbs in the war. It's like... <laughs> it's like cutting off the king of the hill. Lost his shins. <laughs> that would be painful. That would, be, that would suck. That's why he was so short. So if you're... He just fam- grabbed his feet back onto his knees. <laughs> if you're familiar how we're doing the show now, we're doing five items each day, Tuesday and Thursday, and we... Sh- Put those into categories, and at the, for the life of me, I have no idea what our first category. Something new. Something well, new. I should have known that. Who'd have thought something new? <laughs> and the first thing we have up today is the GEC H20018 Hunter Orange. This thing. I'm really digging the GEC fixed blades. So, doesn't this look like a? Just to me, it's just a little claw steak knife. <laughs> To me, it looks like there's a, a set that Hinkles has that is a it's a oh, little knife pair. Set. Yes, yes, yes. That has and you the, have a hawk bill. You have a you have a little tomato like knife, knife, and you have there's one other one. I think anyway, it's like a serrated like tomato knife. It could, well, there is a set that has that. Yes, okay. um, and th- this reminds me of their of their little you know their little their little curved paring knife, but this is just pretty. I, can I show my stupidity? What's that? I mean, like, like I don't do all the time anyway. <laughs> is this the first time that GEC has done fixed plates? I don't think so. Surely. Think, uh, right. Melina, they've no, done fixed plates. No, that's actually from 2018. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm, so I'm it's just not dumb. Bad. It's new to us. We just got them in. Um, I, I really like that little knife. No, it's, it's very it's, we're well balanced, and it's just it's good looking. Right. Right. Um, and it's like thirty five bucks. What I know from GEC. Thirty four thirty. Thirty four thirty. Let's look here at camera two. So this is the Hunter in orange. Uh, we do have different versions of this as well, different handles. Uh, it has a it has a three inch ten ninety five carbon steel Warncliffe blade, satin finish, full tank construction. It is three sixteenth three sixteenth inches thick. Orange composition handle, brass pins and lanyard tube, 6.75 inches overall, weighs 1.6 ounces, and it is made in the USA by GEC. 3430 on this one. There are some other handle materials that yeah. come with this, and, and they are just a little more expensive, but uh, somebody asked, do, good do you, get a, you asked me, do you I get did. a sheath with that? 3430, no sir. No. No sir, you do not. But we are going to send someone, Mark, downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> right after the show, maybe Greg too. It'd be a good adventure right. for the two of them. Um, let them go downstairs, and we're going to find a couple of the sheaths that we have actually in the in the building and online that will yeah. that will hold this, and we'll attach it to the product. So you'll see that below this knife online. 
Um, Greg, we, if you hadn't been watching this right now, get a jump on it and find a sheet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I don't think that can be beat as a little EDC, especially a little camp yeah. knife, that kind of thing. It's nice and sharp if I could hit the paper right. Yeah. It's a it's a cool little knife. Um, again, nothing big and fancy on this. This is not this is not the hundred two hundred dollar GEC that you see. No. This is a no frills small hunting knife. It's a nice little slicer. I love it. That's kind of cool. And I tell you what, if you wanted, if you wanted a carbon steel, this is gonna be so hard. That it, there's a there's it's, a it's like a snowstorm back a, there. A foam cover. We're gonna for show a you guys what this here. looks like here. Yeah, there's a <laughs> foam cover for a mic back here. It looks like it. It, it looks like a little small snow snowstorm. It, it looks like a little Tasmanian devil. Yeah, see, that's in here, right there. So, <laughs> that fell on the floor earlier, and I didn't know where it went, so I just did not have time to get it. If you wanted a a carbon steel, a good solid carbon steel paring knife though for your kitchen, yeah, um, forget the sheath. Sure. And buy that. Put it in the drawer. Yeah. Make sure you're oiling it. Yes, make sure you're right. It is carbon steel. Yeah. But that's just a, it's a good solid knife. Did you raise your hand? No. Okay. I thought you did too. I did too. It was out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. But no, I, I dig that. Um, again, I'm the idiot who thought they were, <coughs> you know, GECs all of a sudden inventing the, the fixed blade knife for themselves. They aren't. I'm just dense. Uh, but I, I really do love that. No, it's nice. 3440 on that. And the next thing is uh, bargain, bargain of, the week. of the week. Yep. The car shall swerve. You know, I think we could probably do an entire year's worth of Bargain of the Week. Just with Kershaw? Just with Kershaw. Sure. Inexpensive folders. And you'd have a lot of good EDCs right oh, there. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Um, I like this Swerve for one reason and one reason you only. It's got the Speed Safe Assist. It's got a flipper that works for great. Sure. And it's got the thumb studs, too. So if you want to do it with a thumb stud, you can. Great. Yeah. If you're, It's good for everybody it's out there. It's just an all-around solid knife. And I, I tell you what, the one thing I will say, though, is had you, uh, how, how you been paying attention during... Um, the madness that was Christmas, Christmas and New Year's, um, you could have gotten this cheaper. Ha yeah. ha. <laughs> yeah, you, yes, you could have. That is for sure. I, again, for an inexpensive, everyday carry knife, this is Is this a Hindler? No. Is it a Microtech? No. Is it a top-of-the-line Southern Grind? It, is, this, is this a top-of-the-line Kershaw? No. No. This is a very... Inexpensive EDC that if you lost it, you're not going to cry. If you put this in your pocket and you take it to work and somebody wants to borrow it, you're like, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. You're good. You, got you, get, somebody you don't have to stop and think about it. No. No, let's look at it. Somebody who's new to the knife game, this is your knife. So this is the Kershaw Swerve. Again, it is $15, bucks, fourteen ninety nine. Right. Legit. A uh, three inch 8CR 13 MOV drop point blade with a stone wash finish. It's an eighth of an inch thick. Thumb stud or flipper opening, speed safe assisted opening, liner lock, black GFN handles, K texture grip, ambidextrous step up pocket clip, 4.25 inches closed, 7.25 inches overall, and it weighs a little bit less than five ounces. I like the beefiness of the handle. Kind of a little swedge on top of the blade. It has a good look to Got it. Some jipping up there. Yeah, the handle feels good in your hand. I mean, again, for 15 bucks, this is a heck of a knife. <laughs> It's just a nice. Look even look at the back spacer. Yeah, spacer has a little bit of. It's a even got a, a fancy back spacer on it. It's all pretty. Uh, I dig it. And people want to slam on the ACR steels. Yes, it is a budget steel. What are you cutting? That's fifteen bucks, though, right? What are you cutting? That's what I want to know. What are you I, cutting? I agree with that statement. I agree with that. Sure, my edge is going to hold a lot longer on S thirty five, but yes, I'm it just is. running this through tape all day long. I don't want to put my really nice 0460 in the tape. Oh, it, it, 0460 is fine with tape. It'll it's eat fine. that tape up. It, but, yes. but. This will do the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. And you can put an edge on that in a second and a half. Yeah. You can you can show <laughs> that to a whetstone. It sharpens itself. <laughs> I don't want to stay on this one too long. I just no, think but it's, it's, it's a bargain of the week. It's yeah. 15 bucks. It is what it is. It is another one of those really budget-friendly Kershaws out there. Uh, go check it out. And, and if you think you're too good for 8CR, there's a whole lot of people who bought that swerve during Christmas. A whole lot of people. I've got a whole lot of people got this swerve <laughs> yes, for Christmas. Yes, they did. Yeah. Who are very, very happy with it. Yes. Again, you got, you got that buddy or that kid or that young person in your life who is... Or that old person in your life who's <laughs> new to the sharp and pointy game... Yes. This is a good starter knife. It really is. No, that's yeah. a great point. Good starter yeah, knife. I dig it. 
That's the bargain of the week. Yes. Jumping right into the fixed the blade. fixed blade of the week. We have our second GEC. I know, right? Hold and it's the not day. the full. Have we ever had a? We've never had a GEC fixed blade on this show. No, this is the first. It's amazing. I We're love gonna it. Write it down and mark it historically. <laughs> we should. You're from New York. Go back and talk about it again. <laughs> Do you remember that time that we, <laughs> we had, had two GECs GCs. and they were both fixed blades? Ooh, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Farley. <laughs> Uh, this this is another pretty little knife. This right here is the GEC H30119 Hunter Woodland Muslin. It does come with a sheath. And it does come with a sheath. Yeah. A pretty sheath. Let's look at it up close. So, like Andy said, the Hunter Woodland Muslin. Muslin because that is Muslin Makara down there on the handle. Muslin's just a, 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 a much... You're not a, saying Muslim, are you? No. Uh, muslin <laughs> is a much finer thread count linen. So you see a linen micarta handle, muslin is a little bit fancier than, than traditional uh, linen or canvas linen, um, and that's why you got those nice patterns deep in the grooves on that handle. Totally different from John Lennon as well. It will spell different too. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you got some of that lemon McCartney? That lemon McCartney. Um, <laughs> they were both in Genesis together. They were. Uh, <laughs> three point. Peter Cetera. <laughs> Phil Collins. <laughs> he was the lead singer for ACDC. He wrecked right around Do that. this because he's just going to stay staring at that knife while we're laughing up here. 3.9 inch, 1095 carbon steel blade. Uh, it's a clip point, satin finish, full tank construction, eighth inch thick, brown woodland muslin micarta handles, acorn chilled, brown leather sheath, 7.625 inches overall, weighs 2.72 ounces, made in USA by GEC. And again, just a nice little... Smaller, fixed blade, great little hunting knife. It is just a or very just, traditional just a good camp knife, belt whatever shape. you want for it. And I mean, it's not that much either. It's 8604. And this thing makes a great companion to, like, let's say you want to get somebody a really great birthday gift. Sure. You get them one of the new GEC traditional pocket knives. Yes. Yes. Put this with it. They're, like, just going to lose their minds. Are those old filled jacks with that? Make you a display. Oil field. God, I've been oil in field. Too long, I? Get your oil for your the core. Oil field. Get one of those oil filled jacks, and it's, that's just it would be beautiful. Yeah, I'm going back to my favorite. We need more snow in here. Oh, that that's mm. sharp as it can be. Well, see, that was thirty four dollars sharp. JC, <laughs> he's calling you out. <laughs> this one is eighty six dollars sharp. We want to see an eighty six dollars sharpness on a thirty four dollar knife. Yeah. That's what we're asking it, for. It, it's so sharp, it just clung on to the paper, and it's relentless right there. It's, it's the hanging paper on. Was afraid. <laughs> it was. Hey, here's the thing. It wasn't born fifty. This is an eighth of an inch thick. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're doing a little bit and doing a little bit more to this with that knife. Sure. That's a slicer. This one's getting. Whew, get. <laughs> I've well, wrecked my paper. paper's done to nothing, sir. I like it. Here, I like this it. Is you me, me, me. I, I this really is do. This on your side now. That's fine. Man. I really do dig that. I love the... You can't really see it even, uh, and no matter how close we got, but you I can wish. see in the grooves yeah. on the, the handle, you can really see that... Are you playing guitar over I wasn't sure what it was. That's you. You can really see that linen <laughs> come out in the grooves on this handle where they've, where they've dug into it. There is some kind of candy that that looks like to me, and I cannot think of what it is. There used it's to those, those, the little, um... The cheap ones you get for Halloween, the crap ones. You know it's what not I'm a Mary Jane. No, it's not a Mary Jane, but there was You're one that had like... little maple log thing. Yes. Yes, yes, it, it does. It kind of does look like a little maple log. See how pretty this is? The but they didn't log. want to call it a little maple log handle. That was good, Jonathan. You were on it that time. Did you see him go yeah. right to that? Love that acorn shield. Love the fact there's nothing on the shield. That has become one of my new fascinations with knives, is when the shield is just a shield with nothing on it. Yeah, and it's nice and flush. Yeah, nice and yeah. flush. Nice. 86 yeah. bucks from Very GEC. Cool. That's the figure yep. blade of the week. I put that right back out there. Now and going. now for something completely different. Yes. C J R B. Pocket, pocket candy modern. Cuts this just week. right about. Cute. I have no, nothing for the yeah, J. Keep going. <laughs> so this is the C J R B. Where did you go right to? 1907 it? Rampart in Rampart. copper. Rampart. What show do you think of? What show do you think of? Are you, are you too young? I was really little when it was on. Chet and Roy, I believe, were their names on Emergency. Oh, no, and that they, was before my time. Okay, so we'd have to watch that, then Hee Haw. Actually, we had to watch that or Lauren Swell. Sure. But Emergency, 
You guys know this stuff. You've been around. You've been around the Some block. Some do. But the cost. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> the, the hospital they we're were in Vegas together. The we're hospital they were was Rampart, and so they oh, would call okay. on, the, on the on the radio all the time. Rampart, we've got blankety See, blank coming in. I think of heraldry on a, on like a coat of arms. Yeah. A lion rampart with his little feet up. That's what it's called. Okay. I get it. Or a dragon rampart. They're rampant. No. Rampart, it's the, the a rampant lion was on I the know, English but the term is rampart. Yes, the ramparts Unless I know are hooves <laughs> and wool and tails. <laughs> Let's talk about this one. Though. Well, so maybe it is rampant. It is rampant. It is rampant. I'm Scottish by my brain's hurting today. <laughs> anyway, this blade is rampart. Uh, 3.5 inch D2 Warncliffe blade, stone wash finish, flat grind. Uh, it is .13 inches thick, manual flipper, ceramic ball bearings, just like everything from CJRB, uh, liner lock, copper handle, stainless steel liners, stainless steel ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip, lanyard hole, 4.72 inches closed, 8.23 inches overall, and it weighs 4 ounces, yes. mainly because of that big old beefy piece of copper on the side. So do you think they like, ah, uh, no, it, it's, it, it's artisan, so they probably didn't think it through. That's almost like a modified sheep's foot. Oh, yeah. So it's a ram part. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. This is like the tomahawk light. It really is. No, not even light. It's like a like the it's like the artisan tomahawk got a little makeover. Yeah. I like this thing. I do. I love the action. The action is always so good. I'm a really big fan of the of the metal. Handles. I know that's going to go out at some point. Oh, yeah. And people are going to go, why are you still making those? We don't sure. like metal handles anymore. But when you can do what we saw Josh do to his this past week, that wait. shipwreck stuff. I can't wait to Holy share that cow. with everybody. We're, we're thinking about putting one on Facebook. Well, we should auction one is what we should we're do. We're talking about Yes. It. And then maybe we'll make some for everybody else. Production, man. Yeah, we are. You have to talk loud because you're. Are going to auction. Melina See, says we, we go. are going to auction. We're going to do it because Melina's in charge of the auction. That's right. <laughs> she'll force. Him. She'll just go. Because she'll just go take his out of his pocket. Like, well, we're, we're doing this one. Well, what's funny is we said it as if we're going to do anything with it. That's right. We're not. No. We're not. No, Melina's going to do it. Um, tremendous action from CJRB. You know, it is an artisan company, and God, it's just nice and pretty. Isn't it? Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um. Cute and again, the way, rabbit brains. The way, <laughs> the way that copper patinas over time, the way it, it picks up oils from your hand and the air, it, they're all a little different. Yeah, this one's it for a been days. just barely out and it's already started. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I like this knife. The price point, I didn't. I don't, did oh, we hit no, it? Uh, we did not. $44.99. Forty four ninety nine. Forty four ninety nine. We got a question. Artisan Tomahawk or CGRD Rampart? I'm going to go Rampart. Not that the not that in the same steels and handle materials, it's very close. In I'll price. give you the pros and cons of both. Well, because uh, I have a tomahawk, the tomahawk's handle uh -huh. is a lot wider down at the base. The profile of this in your pocket, it's a lot slimmer. Uh, so if you don't want that huge monster of a tomahawk in your pocket, this point. is the route to go. That's a good point. Um, but they're both completely fantastic. Um, blade's a little bit bigger on the tomahawk, and the, so the tomahawk has a little bit more of a, of a curved belly. A little bit more of a curved yeah. belly, yeah. yeah. Um, but they're both just tremendous. Yeah, the tomahawk feels more cleaver. This feels more worn cliff. It does. Yeah. But they're both really good. It really just depends on what you. For me, it would depend on what you want in your pocket. I'd say it ought to. Yeah. 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 Just let gravity take over. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Can't beat those CJRBs. Budget friendly line from an already budget friendly company. I think it's the best thing ever. Cellulite jiggling rabid blade. There you go. <laughs> That's what CJRB stands for. One day they'll tell us. I don't think they even know. It's going to burn about us the initials of the owner of the company. <laughs> and Russell's going to be like, morons, you can just ask. <laughs> don't you know it's made by CJ and RB? And RB. <laughs> That became CJRB. Next to the thing that pulled my attention when we sat down at the table. Yes. I hadn't seen it yet. Because it's huge. Good Lord. Are you a proponent of huge or huge? Huge. You're no Bernie Sanders huge? No. Definitely not. 
<laughs> Rough no, Rider, changed, but not you. This is the biggest. This is the biggest stockman that Rough Rider offers. It is yes. literally called the Jumbo Stockman. It may be the largest non-novelty stockman yes. I've ever seen. It's four and seven eighths inches close. You know, because you see that giant trapper like we have in, in Rough Rider right now. Yeah, and I know I've seen a giant stockman before. Yes, but this you could actually keep in your pocket. Oh yeah, for sure. nothing else, just that. <laughs> this is the Brown Stagbone Jumbo Stockman. All the knives in the, in the Rough Rider Brown Stagbone series feature genuine brown, uh, brown bone handles carved to resemble sandbar stag, 440A stainless steel blades, half stops, match strike pulls, swedging, nickel silver slant arm bolsters, and the Rough Rider Stars and Bar Shield. For this, you're looking at a clip point, a sheep's foot, and a spade blade, and it is, get this, almost five inches closed, four and seven eighth inches closed. You know what gets me is is how well they carve that bone to look like stag. Oh yeah. And they're all different. They're all different, and especially on this, that is not a small piece of bone either. Right, it's not, and they're not, yeah, look at that. They're not Delrin. No. They're not composite. No, no, they're bone. This is genuine bone carved to look like stag. So, yeah. uh, the equivalent of what I would say case would be the bone stag. Oh sure, yeah, yeah that's yeah. 6.5? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Big knife. Though. Listen to the walk and talk. Let's go. <sighs> Let's open this up so you can see how big it is. Look Such at my ugly fingerprint right in the middle of that. That is a beast of a pocket knife. Yes, it is. I mean, it, I mean, my hands are not overly small. My, my hands are very, <laughs> very kind of you know mid-range hands. Both of us. Yeah. That knife fits so well in your hand. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you've ever wanted a traditional pocket knife and you weren't sure that it would handle whatever job you threw at it because you've got big stuff to cut, this is the yeah. knife. Yes, Golly. It is. I think let's, it's let's just, see if they're just sharp. It's gorgeous. Sharp. I've been bitten by so many Rough Riders that it's not even funny. I want to see if... What the, um, It's sharp. <coughs> let's see. That is for sure. Yeah. Out of the box. I almost took out the table. You're going to mess up our table one day, and then I'm going to laugh at you because you I'm were the just, one. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm, you were the one at Blade Show going, don't hit the table. Well, it's Mom. brand new. We can't have nice things, Jason. We cannot have That's nice apparent. things. It's almost sharper than that. I'm not even going to say it out loud. I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm not saying it out loud. It's fine. Jeez Louise. What about the other secondary blades? Now you really got me testing this thing. Well, with the spay blade, you could spay it, you know. Well, bring the small, sheep. A small moose. Hey, Jonathan, you. get us the sheep. <laughs> this is why I get bit. SMKW. This We're is men are men and sheep are scared. This is why I get bit with Rough Riders every yes. time. It's because they are super sharp right out of the box. Yeah. That's crazy, Tim. Built by hand, backed by life. Backed by life. <laughs> backed for life. Back by life. Shut up. We kill somebody every time every we turn time one, you back one back in. This. Back by life. It's like, buddy, I'm sorry. You put that on wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and you can really tell it, though, with the, the look and feel and everything on that knife. Killer part of this is the price point. Which is uh, 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Yep. You get one. You don't particularly like the way it looks, the way it sure. feels. You've got 30 days. We have a satisfaction guarantee. Yeah, we do. Send it back. We'll replace it. Yep. You find something that's uh, worked wrong for you, send it back. We'll replace it. We'll replace it. Uh, you let it rust. We will not replace it. No, no, that's completely on you. You pry it like you're trying to pry a paint can open and you snap it in half. A paint can? A paint can. <laughs> you pry in a paint can and you snap it in half, we're now you just got a screwdriver that. because we're not replacing that either. It's but on, to be it's, honest, if you don't own a knife that you snap the blade off over the end. You probably haven't been using a knife right. There's this, my 0460 that I dearly love has the edge tip end missing. And the reason it is because I was cutting things on concrete like an idiot. And so I'm just doing these long drag cuts through um, cardboard. And it just snapped the tiny tip in. You know how that's a very sharp... Oh, yeah. Up? yeah, I did. That's sad. It's not that sad. You can barely see it. So Most sad. people looking at it would notice it. You can probably grind that back into a point. I am not letting them grind my 0460. They'll change my whole blade profile. That was <laughs> what would happen if you let me grind it. Just <laughs> Do we have any questions, comments, thoughts, anything else? Nothing. They're being quiet today. Well, then. Because Melina scolded them. She did. She was angry. Last she said, you week. be nice! 
you know what she said she was going to do one time? And I think this is like the oh, best Lord. idea ever. No, there's no telling. She wants to have a, a meter that sits on the table and faces the camera so that they can see. It's like a little clock. It goes from, yes, you're getting a giveaway to, no, you're not. Okay? And based on how they behave with her and the questions and all of that, she wants to be able to just to sneak over and reach in and turn the meter one way or another. Oh, no, 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 no. <coughs> we could do that with an Arduino. And give her Where a little. It's an Arduino. You are not geeky enough to is hang out. Is it part of the me. Rampart Lion? <laughs> no, you are not geeky enough to hang out with me. It's 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 a little mechan a little mechanical device, and we could give her a board over there, and she could have a little. Yeah, I'm, that's all I'm saying. Because sometimes they're like super awesome, both places, YouTube and Facebook. Sometimes one place is super awesome, the other place is like me, 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 me. Wow. Me. You know, if we did that, and so, so we like, might can even have the max of it if they're being really good. Yeah, we could get, some, get two. Yes. Exactly. See, if you people are nice, you get two. We're gonna end clear. When we're gonna do this. This is gonna happen. It's gonna be the giveaway meter. Yeah, yeah. That's we gonna, can do it's that. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. What do you got in your pocket today? Oh, I actually have two. Well, one around my back. I have two as well. I I was just in back. back knife mode. I, mm -hmm. I love it. And I went. Oh, you know that's a little green. So I it's decided the CRKT a little more green. Folks, um, <laughs> minimalist. That's minimalist. That's yeah. the that's the the Tanto modified Tanto. And this is uh, this is the. Green Micarta, natural Micarta, <laughs> cotton sampler. So I decided to go a little green with both of mine today. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen these from Rough Rider, we've showed them a couple of times. I'll yeah. go two on that. That's the uh, brand new green Micarta. Uh, those match. I know. That's what, I, that's what I just said. Yeah. Well, I don't listen to you. You shouldn't. <laughs> but the back to back, our hand built shield, that's brand new too. These are awesome. There's like yeah. five patterns. Boy, you got some. Look at Jason's oh, credit on there. Oh, funky. I'm mm. telling you. Mm. I use a knife. I just don't This is clean where he wipes his boogers when he's... <laughs> I don't clean a knife. I like that this one has a lanyard hole. I've got to make a lanyard for this one. I have not yet, and I've, I've kind of felt a bead, I think I will. But I've just yep. got to sit down and do it. So I'm going to go in between. I'm going to give hers in between. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. And you know why? Because it's mine. Because it's yours. This is my 0462. Yep. That she somehow put in her pocket it's today. Still has a tip because he hasn't <laughs> damaged this, is the four, this one. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, I learned my lesson with the 0460. Apparently. Not to cut through cardboard on concrete, especially uneven concrete. Beautiful. It just was what it was. I had to cut these things. I had this knife, and I did it. Really sharp, pointed down, and dragged across like a razor it's blade. Funny, you just slide that knife up in your pocket, off. and you push it all the way down where nobody can see it. And go, hey, who has a knife? <laughs> and you bar somebody else's. That's the 0462 <laughs> right there. This is a gorgeous knife designed by Dmitry Sinkovich. It's yeah, probably it's, my favorite knife. Uh, it's just really it, nice. To me, it is yeah, my absolute favorite knife. That's why I'm going to guard this closely as it goes back to her pocket so that I'm you, she doesn't gonna, lose it. No, she's not going to lose it. You're she won't lose it. it back. She won't lose it. It will be this. It will be, I know this is here somewhere. I'll, I'll put it back in the bowl. Look, yes, the, she's, the knife bowl. We did that Not last to be confused night with, with the weed eater bowl or the gator bowl. We did that last night with the, the knife bowl. With the uh, we're looking for the medicine bowl because my wife had lost her antibiotics she had. Oh, I know. See, so she was back at the doctor. There is a place for everything. It's my opinion. That's my opinion. All too. of my pocket stuff goes in one place in my office. Okay. All of my knives go in one shelf in the office. I, That's where things go. <laughs> Hang on, we've got a question. Yes. What was your favorite knife of 2019? Of 2019. Let me get through the pocket dump and then we'll talk about that. Yeah, because I've got mine already. Um, I brought the CEO. It's just been in my oh, pocket since Christmas. Um, <laughs> uh, since Christmas. And I decided to go a little fancy today. My Re8 Torrent. Oh, heck yeah. Um, I was like, what haven't I carried in a while? Put that next to the mic. Listen. Oh, my lord. Yeah. It is a beautiful, that. beautiful knife. If you don't play with a Re8 that often... You missed that sound. If, if you're in our store, go to the Re8 section, play with the Re8s. They have the best Jeez, crow. action that I have ever seen on a folding oh, knife. Yeah, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh. It's almost like when you pull the hammer back on a really good gun, it gives you that yeah. feels like. Mm. That just is. That's, it screams knife. Yes. Re8 Torrent, I think this is like a three hundred dollar knife. I think it, is too. Uh, it was given to me as a gift, and that's why I barely take it out because sure. I don't do. But like I said, this thing has not been sharpened ever because yep. I'm not sharpening this knife. I don't use it that often, see but let's see. Dude, it's, it's a M390. It is a beast. 
See that I cut air with it, it was so sharp. And to be honest, if you did try to sharpen it, you gonna work at it. Yeah, because it's M390. It's yeah. M390. Yeah, but I mean, it is. Oh. I've had that for what two and a half, three years, and used it off and on, and it has not needed to be sharpened. That's a, a re eight torrent right there. And to, let's go ahead and answer your question <laughs> then, Nell, because you actually brought mine on the show today. This is my favorite knife of 2019. Uh. Yeah, I mean, so we talked a little bit, a little bit about this a couple yeah. of weeks ago, but we can hit on again. I think the Provoke was a great knife. The Provoke was a great knife. Uh, the CEO is definitely probably one of the best sellers and most fun knives. I don't. It just is one of the ones that stands out for me yeah. the entire year. I'm just gonna have to say that probably my favorite of the year, because it was such a dark horse, was the Proponent. It just oh. was the artisan proponent. No, yeah, you're right. It was a dark horse favorite, and once we got those in in copper and brass. Could we do a favorites of the year show like next week? I know we can't for Thursday, Thursday pick. We can, but we'll have to abandon our regular show. And then I'll have to stab you with the CEO. <laughs> no, no, not for this Thursday. No, no, for next week. We'll Thursday have to abandon our regular plan, and then I will have to. No, 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 no. We'll be okay. You just say it now. You haven't picked yet. I'll even help. I'll even give you a couple of items. What? To pull. I what? Know. Okay, it's all right. Jason's going to give me some item numbers. We will do it. And yeah. it will be great if we can fit them into those categories. <laughs> Maybe. We'll try. Yeah. No, it'll be fine. No, I, that, that, was, that was probably my <coughs> favorite of the year. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It, um, all that. Any other questions, comments, thoughts? She's reading. Yeah, there was something. I lost it. Yeah, there was something. Retype your questions. <laughs> Retype. Ay, 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 ay. You know what's funny on the table right now? Clowns. My favorite is that. Really? Just because it's so unusual. <laughs> uh, look at the pinchedness. Pinchedness. Of it's the not bolsters. Yes. yes. God. It's a I, jumbo that's, stock. Yeah, that's the that's real deal. Just a groovy. A I'm groovy actually kind of leaning much. back to this as my favorite right now, because it's so different from everything GEC is it really is, showing yeah. normally, and it looks like it would just be a fun little EDC. If I find the right sheath for it. I'm just hoping we get back upstairs that Mark and Greg have Listen been watching, <laughs> and they've gone and found a sheath already. We don't know what you're talking about. I'll stab them both. That's right. With a swerve. We go we had to go get, had to go get Thai food. <laughs> Sometimes you do. <laughs> But it's not Thursday, it's Tuesday. <coughs> Should we do a rundown real quick? Yeah, do it. Okay. Knife, 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 <coughs> knife, knife. GEC Hunter <laughs> Orange and 1095 brush satin. Just a great little knife, guys. Yeah. This thing is 3430. You can't beat it. There are other handle materials on the site. They're gonna be a little more expensive. But again, it's just I, what was the total length on this? Six point five six point seven five inches overall, yeah. weighs about one point six ounces. This is the composite version, thirty-four thirty on it. It is the fix the something new. Yeah, something yeah, new. Something new for this week. Bargain of the week. Jonathan, I'm not going down there. <laughs> this is when he loses it every time. <laughs> this is the Kershaw Swerve. <laughs> It is a speed safe assisted open oh, no, 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 no. speed safe assisted opener has dual thumb studs and a flipper, uh, GFN handle, stonewash finish, eight CR blade. This is just an EDC workhorse, and if you pay fifteen dollars for it, you're not going to be dissatisfied. That's exactly right. You are not going to be dissatisfied. Lend it, give it as a gift. Liner lock. I'll put it right down here, John. There sure. we are. See, there we go. Okay. Not knife. bad at all. Great, great, great little knife. Great little knife for fifteen bucks from Kershaw. <clears throat> Up next is the fixed blade of the week. This is the uh, Hunter um, Woodland, Woodland Muslin Micarta. And it's going to be a little more expensive than the other in the $86 Ranger. Again, talking about 1095 carbon sure. steel with the brush satin finish. Uh, eighth of an inch thick Muslin Micarta handles with that really cool texture on it. Oh, for sure. See how thick they are. They're really, really nice. Acorn, nickel silver, acorn shield, brass. I'm sorry. Are those brass? Or are they nickel silver? The nickel silver. Nickel silver pins on that yep. thing. Um, it's just another little good fixed blade. It's comes, all matchy matchy. Comes with that sheath right there. With acorns on it. It does. It's got acorns. It matches your shield. It's got acorns on acorns. it. Acorns. Acorns. There's an acorn shield right there and acorns on your on your acorns. That's when you get a coupon. Send you away. And get you an acorn. A coupon. A coupon. <laughs> uh, pocket candy modern. CJRB. Cute jiggly rabbit butts. 
solid <laughs> copper handle on this thing. Modified one clip D2, uh, stainless steel liners, liner lock, uh, tip up ambidextrous pocket clip that's stainless steel. This is just a fun little knife from CJRB. Ceramic ball bearings on that manual flipper so you can't go wrong just like all the artisans out there. And you're talking about 45 bucks. Yeah, and here's the thing. If you wanted to try out a copper handle knife and it not be as weighty as, say, I don't know, the tradition, yeah, this is like half the weight of that one. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that is the uh, pocket candy modern. For sure. And then the rough rider of the week was this jumbo stockman. Yes, it's the brown stagbone series. All the blades are 440a half stops, match strike pulls, nickel silver slant R bolsters, uh, stars and bars shield on this thing, and of course that's genuine bone carved to look like sandbar stag. I like it. It's huge. Four and a seven eighths inches on that. So you get a full size knife. And as we demoed, it is super sharp right out of the box. I'll tell you, not so big that it's a novelty piece. It is right. the perfect it's a size user. to carry. Use it. Take Use it. 15, 15 bucks. bucks. Yeah. 15 bucks. We have come to the end. We have. Almost. Oh, we, oh, have, we question. have questions. So, are there any plans to expand the Rough Rider Classic Micarta? Series. Yes. <laughs> yes. There are lots of big plans for Rough Rider in 2020. And yeah, I'm going to tell you. There's stuff way beyond. There is stuff that I have been itching to tell you. That we can't yet. We cannot. I mean, you're going to have it. Have it. It's yeah. going to keep coming and it's going to keep happening. And, and we're not going away from anything that we've done in the past, but we are going to mm, blow your minds this yes. year, I think. Are there any exciting new knives to talk about? Uh, at this moment, no. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> There's this. <laughs> All of the ocean, shot ocean blue pearl. That, that's good. That's a good. That's a good point. Yeah. It's almost shot show. Shot show shot is the industry the where the industry debuts most of everything they've got. Yeah. Uh, some people you'll see it trickling out, right? Like Essie's trickled some stuff out. CRKT's trickled some stuff out. Cold Steel's trickled some stuff. We don't have it yet. No. Just saying, they're going to go debut it at shot show, and then they're going to ship it to us. And, and even once we get a shot show, it's going to take weeks to months to get some of that stuff in. Yes. Um, but as we have it, that coming soon, if you go to the, go to the website, have we talked about the website? Today? Do we have a website? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, smkw.com. If you go to the top of that, you'll see a coming soon section, um, and that will start being, we'll pull out a lot of the stuff from last year. Anything new that is not available yet will be in there. So, for instance, the essays that we... Yeah. That have been that will be dropped in the next couple of days. I think they had one set today, and they'll have one set on the fourteenth. Mm -hmm. um, they'll go in that set, mm -hmm. so you'll be able to actually go in there and look at them, and, and in some cases, do some pre-ordering. Yeah, that kind of thing. There's lots of stuff coming. There are lots of big things coming. Case, of course, is going to pull their um, knife out of the vault and show us what it is. <laughs> It'll be in the next. Catalog. They're going to pull it out and show it to us. Yep, it's going to be good. Yeah, man, that's the website though. That category. Yes. I think that's gonna be really cool. Yeah, we're so gonna do. Barlow's away. New thing is coming. Yeah. And if you're if you still haven't bought a Barlow from last year from Case, you you need to because they're gone. They're back in the vault. <laughs> Just like the doctor's knife. Other questions, comments, thoughts, provocative answers to questions. Fourteen blade <laughs> pitmaster. <laughs> yes. Doc asks. Uh huh. All what long. does SMKW stand for? Smoky Mountain <laughs> Knife Works. And let me just say, there is no E in Smoky. No. S M O K Y. Just like the mountain. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. So if you type that into Google, you'll still find us. Of course you will, because a lot of people don't know how to spell Smoky. Yes. Not like Smoky the Bear. Or Smoky the Dog. Smoky. S M O K Y. Mountain it, Knife Works. I guess it does have an E. Yes. Doesn't it? Yes. That's Other great. questions, comments. What a great riveting question, Doc. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, uh, it's been a while since I've had a question like that. We are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com, the world's largest knife showplace store. Store. God, thing. you went back in time. <laughs> I did. I, I jumped right back to the old. Get off my case on knife time. We, uh, <laughs> we drove in from West Virginia over the weekend. You did? Yeah. So coming down, you know, you, you leave 81. Were your arms tired? It worked. <laughs> we came in. Okay, you come up at 81, you're at 40. Four billboards? Yes. That I passed on the way yes. to exit 407. Yes. It's We're like those old um, Burma shave. It almost is. Yes. 
as you head towards the exit. It's yeah. Cool. If you've never been to the store, come on down. It's exit 407, yeah, right off of Interstate 40 in Sevierville. We're like three miles off the interstate. Turn right. You'll see a big blue roof. Fantastic. Yeah. We got to decide what we're giving away. Was the giveaway meter good enough today? Yes. They okay. Did. They, they were good. They were good. Yeah. So she says the meter went, giveaway. <laughs> it needs to say that when you find this Arguido thing that you Arduino. want. Arduino. Arguido. Arduino. Sarducci. When you get the Sarducci wow. for the table. You went really old I school. I did. I did. No uh, one out there has any idea. Guido Sarducci. That's the hashtag. Father of Guido Sarducci. That's the hashtag. No, that is not the yes. hashtag. The no, hashtag no, no. is. We need to hit somebody Hashtag good. Guido Sarducci. <laughs> and. We're giving away the copper yeah. CJRB, the cute Jiggly Rabbit butt knife. Named Guido Sarducci. No, we're not doing Guido Sarducci. I do not want to see all the spellings that are there. Uh, I want to say we're going to do hashtag. Cute Jiggly Rabbit butts. I'm totally down with that. Cute Jiggly Rabbit butts or Guido Sarducci. Yeah, either one will get you that. Hashtag that. <laughs> we'll get you entered in the contest. We'll tell you who won this next Tuesday. Uh, yeah, it was hashtag Cute Jiggly Rabbit butts for CJRB. Yes. Or. Guido Sarducci. Guido Sarducci. Again, this one right here, it's a $44 knife, so go look it up on the site. We'll Heck give it yeah. away next week. Uh, that's the CJRB Rampart. Cool Rampart. What else Ram you got, part. Jason? Any other that's questions before we get out of here? Nope. Good. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you. Really yes. do. Um, we're headed right towards 112,000 people following us on Facebook. Tell, sure. tell more people about us. Yeah. Just tell them. Go out there and share it. Just tell them. You see a random stranger on the street today. I want you to just reach out to them. First, I want you to give them a hug. <laughs> and then I <laughs> want you to them. tell them to go to facebook.com slash Smoky Mountain Life Works. When you hug them, whisper in their ear. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Whisper yes. in their ear. Yes. Do, whisper, do you like knives? Yes. I mean, because there, <laughs> there is no way they will not respond to that. They're going to respond. Don't do that. Uh, make sure you're following us here tight. on Facebook. That's 100. Get up close. Uh, uh, just do love you, on them a little like bit. Knives. Just whisper in their ear. Do you like knives, boy? <laughs> Come here. Okay, follow us on Instagram. Even if it's a girl. I think, I think she peed a little bit. I think she did too. Follow them on Instagram. Uh, follow them. <laughs> follow somebody. That gets creepier at that point, right? <laughs> follow us on Instagram. We give away something there and on Facebook. Make sure you're joining the SMK, SMKW Army Facebook group on Facebook. Uh, our YouTube channel needs some love. I know a lot of you guys watch this show on YouTube. Oh, yeah. um, we added 5,200 people in the last little yes, bit, but let's add some more. So tell for people sure. about our YouTube channel. Share that. I don't know if people still use the Twitter, except for the president. Well, Do people still use the yes, Twitter? Okay, well, Twitter. you can share YouTube right to Twitter, and that'll get people yeah. over to us. That's kind of cool. Um, yes. G join, join the text messaging list. Yes. It's on the homepage of the website. Text, eight, scroll, text join to 84653. Man, it's either no 846 or 864. 846. It's on the eight, homepage four, of the six, website. Five, three. Yeah. We send out a text every Friday. There's always some different stuff in the text. Yes. Sometimes some specials in the text. It's not available anywhere else. Yes. Um, and then join the mailing list as well. Email mailing list. Yes. You all have an email. You love your email. We send out three of those a week, and there yes. is chuck full of stuff. Yes. Chuck full. Definitely. Of stuff. Chuck picks all the knives. That's right. Right. And Tex will come tell you about your stuff you're going to get for free this week. <laughs> Guys, we're going to get out of here. It's been another fun show. Jeez. Thanks for watching us. We're again brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And Jonathan has been running the board. Melina has now run to do the sound, she but she was left. answering all she the was. questions. That's Jason. I'm Andy. And this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. We will catch you on Thursday. Thursday. Bye.